right, everybody. <clears throat> okay, now five, four, three, two, one. And so, welcome everybody back to the channel. Welcome back to another beautiful live stream. I hope everybody is uh, receiving this live stream well. You know, this is maybe a little bit of a test as well because I'm for the first time ever streaming not in 1080p but in 1440p and I hope it works pretty well. I hope it works well with the bit rate and I hope my computer won't crash. I know, I know. We all have the whole discussion of my new CPU thing and you know, uh, discussing whether um, well, you know, we, we, we need some better cooling for it. You know, I have a pretty, you know, Pretty, uh, good, uh, heat, yeah, um, you know, thermal thing, P PC, I can't speak, but everybody, the CPU that I have, the 13 gen that we have credit to last week is a bit, you know, thermally active, and so, um, we need to watch the CPU temperature right here, um, so this is for streaming 1440p here with all we got here, all the best, ah, oh, shut up with your cycle, dumb, ah, all the best that X-Plane can give us. And it looks absolutely beautiful here. Yes, welcome to the tropical Australian island of Lord Howie. Lord Howie, Howie Island, everybody, here with even some, some of these new volumetric clouds that look absolutely beautiful, everybody. Yes, this is where we are. Let's maybe check out, you know, where we are indeed here. Let's get a new window. Here we go, something like that here. Let's just check out where Lord Howie Island is. So we all have a bit of an idea of where we are and where we're going now. Welcome to Australia. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm having I have some Australian here. I mean, it's, you know, late afternoon here or evening here in Australia. Perth right now is like, what is it, four? Something like that. Meanwhile, um, you know, maybe there are some people from America watching, even though I don't hope that. I mean, New York is right now four in the morning. You know, this is a bit of a or an unusual streaming time. But everybody, check out where we are. Check out this red arrow right here. We are in the middle of the Tasman Sea of the uh, Pacific Ocean, and our mission today is to fly from Lord Howie Island here, from here. Now, I don't want directions. That would be a bit strange. No, I don't need directions. Let's go ahead and just make a um, make a measure distance thing. We need to go from here to the Gold Coast, perhaps even to Sydney. Sydney works pretty well. Um, something like that. We can go from that place to Sydney now. And that is how much is that? Uh, measure distance to here. That is 700 kilometers, 400 miles, around 420 nautical miles right here. Nothing all too easy, okay? So we shall start this. Make a bit of a long haul flight. This will be not long though. This will be like, we'll get there in like 20 minutes with our Mach 2. We're gonna get this plane as fast as possible. So this is kind of our challenge for today. I've never really done this, where I've really taken the Concorde to a Mach 2 point. By the way, yes, we are here again. This is very beautiful. Scenery is absolutely magnificent. What is that in the background, by the way? Is that another island or is there like a scenery loading fail? Is anyone from Lord Howie? Can anyone com confirm that this huge iceberg is here in the Pacific Ocean? Great. Everybody, yes, things are looking absolutely Beautiful. So let's go ahead now and, you know, check out this Concorde here for X-Plane 12. We haven't checked that out in a while. I haven't flown the Concorde in a while. So we all know that this is going to go very, very wrong. You know, I'm a bit scared of all this because uh, yeah, this thing has got barely any, you know, I mean, it's got very ancient navigation equipment, you know. Um, we will have to. Oh, uh, come on, battery. Let's get the, oh, God, the frames per second is horrible. All right, we're starting off already a bit poorly. Let's see how the CPU is doing. It's actually doing pretty all right. It's not even using. Oh, ah! Donation! Bob Builder! For, oh, Bob I'm, Builder I'm, donated two dollars. That was loud. Two a.m. stream. All right, so you are at two a.m. now. That's kind of the thing. All right, so uh, you are somewhere in the U.S. then. All right, so here when you go back here into the cockpit, it gets to like 17 frames per second, which is a bit bad, but that's another story. Let's go ahead now and continue on working on starting on starting this plane here. All right, let's get this to the nav mode here, all the inertial reference stuff. Let's get that up to align mode here so we can get that aligned. I'm, I guess we're going to have to use the inertial navigation system we have on board. No GPS or anything, we will have to now align here. This will be a bit, you know, interesting for sure. But let's just get going anyway. 
Um, what else do we need? We need the air bleed control. I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Condition valves. Turn those on. Cross bleed. Maybe that'll do as well. I'm honestly not quite sure how to even start up the engines on this thing. And we've got a whole navigation mission ahead of us, you know? So this is this is not going to go wrong. Uh, some of these secondary air, air doors here. Open. Open all of those here. I'm, I'm pr I just kind of am flying this plane on faith. And, you know, trying to remember all this. Recirculation valve. Hello, Julian. How is it going? You guys are already donationing. Julian donated you know, it's great. Let's get some of these lights Hashtag on here. Team Carol. Yes. So, come on. Panel lights. Panel flood. Panel flood. Great. So, we've got some lights going on here because this is a relatively dark cockpit. Oh, my God. The frames per second. We can see them here in the corner. I'm pretty sure you can see them well as well. So, that's like 20 frames per second. Which is straight, you know, it's not great, but that's kind of what you have here with the uh, whole cockpit. So everybody, it's time to get going and turn on, uh, and maybe try to turn on the engines, okay? So something we will need to do is turn on the um, feed, the fuel, you know. Um, so let's get that going. How's it going, Big Jackos Gaming from the Australia land. That's what I wanted to see. How you going, mate? Oi. Oi! Yes, we're gonna fly to Australia land. And of course, something I have here is the um is of course the auto author turned on. So we're throughout the whole flight, we're gonna be able to use auto auto scenery. But we'll have scenery all throughout this flight. I mean, we will have ocean the first 20 minutes where we actually fly to Australia. Yeah, this is 400 nautical miles. Can anyone actually calculate this? Honestly, no. Um, can anyone <laughs> switch? You forgot your you forgot to switch your screen by 180 degrees. <laughs> that's actually that was actually a good comment I just read in the chat. Can anyone please kind of calculate our flight time? Um, if we're talking again about this. Uh, 400 nautical mile flight. How long will that take for us, actually? Because that will be interesting for me to know. Let's turn on the... There you go. This is the uh, stuff. I don't know. I'm just hoping that we will get this work, okay? To work, okay? So let's get this going. Our plane, I think, electric-wise, is ready for startup. So let's go ahead now and just turn on all this stuff here. We will need the mast heaters, uh, which are right... Where are they? Let's turn on the lighting, first of all. How's it going, Steven? Frost are from Australia, land. Isn't that nice to see? All right. Where's the master, mass heaters? Mass heaters. I need to get them going. Oh, my God. Drain mass heaters. That's what I'm talking about. That's great. Let's uh, see now. Uh, la, 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 boom, boom. The high pressurization valve. All right. I guess these engines are already starting up. Oh, God. Why is my mouse not working? Hello? Mouse? Why can't it? Why can't I use my mouse? Hello? Oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. We are actually, we've got high pressurization valve. Let's get, oh my God. Why does it lag? It's not, it's not like it's lagging. It's just my mouse that's having issues. All right, then it's maybe time to get those engines started up. So we've got these, uh, the controls for that down here, the engine, uh, relight. So start valve mode is open. Let's turn open for all of them. So we can get all these engines started up, which actually is working pretty well. Yes, only by flying with playing with fate, faith, we are actually starting to get going. Here we go. Yes. So 46 minutes. Uh, it depends on the approach. I mean, we're not really aiming for an approach anyway right now. I'm just aiming to get to the coast to Australia. So this is our so this is our thing now. We are flying to Australia indeed. Something I guess that we could just take if we're flying, you know, if we're continuing to go VFR, if we're not going to use these stupid inertial uh, navigation systems, ancient systems, I guess we can just use the airways that we've got provided right here. We've got some star airways here. Uh, w, uh, whiskey, W, oh, right, aviation. So whiskey 149er, uh, we could use those. We could use that to fly to us. This is actually interesting now. We've got a person standing here. Isn't that nice? Maybe we could also use the automatic ATC. I think the AI ATC, even though I, I really would not prefer not to do that. Let's just kind of try to fly, all right? Fly. Why is my mouse not working? Like, I'm, you know the... Why is that not working? 
Help. Why cannot I get this going? All right, anyway. Let's get to... Uh, anyway. Let's, ah! Why? All right, there you go. Let's turn on all the uh, stuff we need to fly this, actually. Let's turn on all the um, cockpit systems here. So we have to just press all these switches. Here you go. Auto stop. Something like that. Just to make this plane easier to fly. Uh, blue inverter. Something like that. Anti-stall system. We will need that. Let's turn on all the lights here also. Because why not? We're in the flight simulator. It's just to get them going. We visor de-icing. We will fly not through eyes, probably. We're in Australia. How are you going? Uh, one. Hello, one. How's it going? One. So, one thing I have to... I'm, I'm kind of hiding the... Like, the, the donation is hiding behind me, which sucks. <laughs> like, I can't even show the message. I mean, at least it's red. You know, that's kind of cool. How's it going, Algon from New Zealand land? How you doing, man? All right. Can you do a 24-hour flight challenge? Well, that would be a long damn flight. I'm honestly not quite sure if I would even be capable of doing that. Like, just mentally, you know. So, come on. Let's... But, I mean, if someone donate, I, I I remember in, like, 2021, I set a limit. If, one, if someone, like, donates, like, $5,000, I would do, I would then, from, from then, just continue on with this 24-hour flight. I would just, or 10-hour flight, something like that. I would just fly around the world with whatever plane I'm in. That was kind of my challenge. If someone were to do that, I would quickly change my ways. And, and get going, you know? So, so come on. Uh, let me get to start up this airplane. Uh, I mean, we are started up. It's actually looking fun. This plane is ready for flight, I'm pretty sure. All these systems are turned on. Check out these beautiful lights, which I may have overdone a little bit. Let's get the nose visor down just to see if everything works here. We kind of will need autopilot also. No, I didn't want to put them down all the way. Come on. Something like that. Like half, like just barely down which works well let's see if we can get, get controls here and we've got controls here in the beautiful aileron elevator surfaces those are working so everybody our concord is actually quite ready for fight why though cannot i use the mouse properly anyway we do not have an ipad something we do have though is a gut or gui which we will can use here we have a flight plan we do have a oh we don't have a map actually I mean, we could just, I mean, we can set a flight plan. Certain data is missing. Where no waypoint data is missing. Um, nav overview. Oh God, um, this is very ancient. Flight preparation, flight engineer. Let's just set the fuel trim for takeoff. Um, we've got, you know, we have got like this computer AI engineer here, which will set our trim. So again, this is the inertial navigation here, right? We will not. I don't really don't want to use this. It shows our location here, our position. Uh, let me see if we can get this to nav mode, waypoint mode. Nah, I really don't care to do that. Honestly, this does not use the the actual Concorde inertial uh, navigation. You know, I, was, I didn't see who that was. I'm sorry. All right then, let's go ahead now and just maybe try to fly this. And we can just follow the airways, which will somewhat lead us to the Australia. You know what I mean? I mean, what what can go wrong, all right? So let's go ahead now and just reverse back here. We do a, like a Russian pushback, as I like to say. Here we go. Check this out, everybody. Our Concorde has started to move already. We shall maybe turn off these stupid taxiway lights because this looks absolutely ridiculous. Ah, all right, there you go. All right, never mind. Okay, something I may have done here with this plane is add missiles to it, um, which is a, maybe a little bit out of standard. We might gonna we might want to get rid of. Can you see this missile? Um, we might want to get rid of those later. Let's turn off these stupid taxiway lights. Jesus Christ, it looks absolutely stupid. Um, where are they? Let's see here. Uh, retract. That's the main landing lights, you know. Something like that. We don't need those, you know. Oh, they're not even turned on. The new, I, don't even, I don't even know what that did. What what retract? What did that extend or retract? It's the lights of the main landing. Let me turn those, leave those off, and maybe turn off these stupid taxiway lights. Where are they? Lights, nav, emergency lights, just arm them. Uh, iPhone. <laughs> good. Uh, see now, this is working pretty good. Everything is set up. I really want to get rid of those stupid lights here. Taxiway lights, taxi turn lights. No, we don't need that. Retract those as well. So we will now have a bit of a more, uh, you know, more sophisticated Concorde. That we'll, we will now fly into the skies. All right. So, come on. 
Let's get moving here with this Concord. Our nose visor is partially down. So this is a perfect setting here for a nice take. Oh, we still have oh we still have reverse thrust going. That's why we're not moving. All right, there you go. Let's follow the taxi lines beautifully. Let's take off runway 28 perhaps, and that will already get us started uh, to where we want to go. And that is like this 270 uh, heading, which will get us on one of those airways to the Australia, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. Everybody, we, I, we need a bit of a challenge for sure to start this off. Are you guys thinking we could already use the end of what we have of this runway to take off? I mean, you know, the Concorde takeoff performance has been pretty all right. The takeoff performance has... Oh, I just unplugged my headphones. That's a bit... It's all right. Hold on. Let me get the parking brake on. Ah. God damn it. Uh. Why? No. There we go. All right. So, the, again, the takeoff performance was all right. Should we... People are saying no to this. Huh. All right, so you guys are saying no. You guys are a bit boring today, isn't it? So let's go ahead now and just kind of reverse down here to the, what we have. Oh God, no, don't, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did it do that now? Why is it wheeling? Can't even move. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, nothing to be worried about. This is a perfect start of a proper 45 minute flight. Pro Jesus. All right, there we go. Let's go and reduce the power now. And uh, there we go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, please. We are... Maybe let's go with a bit of power here. That we can get out of this tail position. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we can already see the beautiful afterburners, which we can already spool up a little bit. Um, That's not gone very well. So let's go ahead and take off now. All right. This is the Concorde. <sighs> yes. Lord Howie Island, time to get going. We might have just kind of started in the grass now, but who cares? Who gives a damn now at this point? Let's me see. Um, we need to get a bit more speed. Why is this kind of underpowered? Let's go full power. Come on. You can do this. We need like, what is that? Like 160, 180 knots to like lift off. This runway is a bit shorter than I would have thought. If this would fail now, I'm going to end this stream. If this fails, I'm gonna end the stream, okay? Oh fuck, it's gonna it's gonna actually fail. Alright. We might wanna need another chance. We might want to. We might want to try this again. I didn't. I didn't expect this to go this badly. All right, here we go. The engines are left at full power. Let's use every single inch here on the cheating mode here. Sorry, that didn't work. So let's maybe try again now with proper static takeoff. That wasn't a good takeoff, you know, um, procedure. I expected this to go a lot better. This thing is. Is it a bit heavy? Is it a bit overloaded? I'm not quite sure why it's so poorly performing. In the. I mean, I only remember flying this plane in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, and there it flew a whole lot better. So, come on, let's try again. Please. Please, just... Oh, my God. Why is it so unstable on the ground as well? I have to really fix the rudder here. All right, 100... Fuck, that's not going to work. No way. That genuinely... I can't get this to work. Honestly, I can't get it to work. All right, let's try again here now. Let's set the parking brake, okay? Let's set the parking brake here now. Let me see. Can we reduce the weight in any way, please? That is, um, that is a bit embarrassing now. Payload manager. Uh, we do have some seats here. So let's see, check this out. We are... Let's get back to, like, s s no freight weight. So we will have to get rid of some passenger weight, okay? Oh, no. Got some passengers here. We have to throw out some people, I guess. Apply. All right, there you go. Payload manager. We get some less passengers, 12 less passengers. So it's only a very exclusive flight. So get rid of those passengers here. How, mu how much fuel do we have on board? That is seriously failing. All right, we've got some fuel here. We were 
full on fuel. We don't need that much, okay? Let's get rid of some fuel, honestly, all right? We've got way too much fuel on board. Let's get rid of some fuel here. This will be perfect. This will be enough to get to Lord Howie. All right, there you go. We are now pretty much better on fuel. All right, there you go. A little bit of, you know, less fuel. That is actually now, I didn't check the weight here. This thing's gonna now fly a whole lot better. The, the plane was fully fueled. Some people are also recommending me to use headwind, which is another idea that we could do. We could use that as well. So let's go ahead now and take off. Air France, Concordia. All right, there you go. This is a whole lot better. There we go. We can take off. Everybody, yes! Finally, a takeoff. And we are... No! No! The thing is, if we're going to if we're going to reduce the fuel by any means at this point, we're going to seriously run out of fuel in, in, through the Pacific Ocean. This is now our fourth attempt. I'm now kind of extended the runway a little bit. I didn't expect the runway to be this challenging. I remember it being longer as well on the Microsoft Simulator. Jesus. Oh, God. I'm failing very much. All right. So, come on. Let's try again. All right. There you go. Full power. Full power. Please take off. Yes. Yes. All right. We might also going to get rid of the missiles. How can, how can I shoot those, please? Please shoot. I cannot. I'm not able to shoot the missiles. And we're just leave the beautiful island here of Lord Howie behind us and fully utilize what we can do with this beautiful Concord. We're not going to, you know, reduce our throttle that is now at 100% by any means. We're going to seriously utilize our power. The thing I'm going to do is like stay on this airway here of what is that? Um, hello. Oh, please don't stall out now. Or we might want to, we might want to uh, wait for. We might want to listen to our flight engineer that we've got on board. Let's get the visor down, uh, up, I mean. Here we go. Oh, we are a bit, that is a bit of a climb angle. Let's go ahead and reset the trim here a bit. There you go. Everybody, we are already above the clouds. Things are already looking pretty damn good. All right, we're already starting to climb properly. We're now at a mock. We're already at the speed of sound. All we have to do is, you know, keep this plane at a heading of two, uh, 270. We might want to also use our autopilot here. Everybody, this is what I'm talking about. We're already speeding up properly. So, um, let's get the, uh, -li boom, autopilot one, autopilot two. Let's get the heading hold mode on. So that is kind of what we want. And we can also try to use the pitch hold, which is like very simplistic, you know, types of autopilot, but it will, it will help us, um, to actually climb properly. Now, right, the Concorde has taken off, so things are looking absolutely fine. Uh, let's maybe see. We want to climb a little bit more while still, you know, keeping up speed. How, what is our speed right now? We've got, where's the Mach indicator? Mach 1.5. That is already looking pretty damn good. Let's get the pitch hold mode on. I hope that works well. I don't want to, I don't want to hold out it. I want to hold pitch. Why isn't it holding the pitch of ours? How can I reset the stupid pitch? I mean, we can do the autopilot auto acquire altitude mode. We're just going to now acquire like 50,000 feet, which is kind of the cruising that we are aiming for. Okay, so let's get the 50,000 feet. How do I how do I acquire this autopilot? Flight directors, vertical speed. Autopilot hold verticals, hold set. How do I max climb? So it's max climb, which will now climb the plane automatically with this autopilot. I'm trying to get behind what this autopilot can do for us okay so there we go things we are looking pretty good we are climbing now we can see the beautiful afterburners are coming on let's maybe check out our flight yes we are well we, we are flying after all right towards australia and then I mean, you know use the stream to understand um what is behind the beautiful um concord so let me use the autopilot to hold our vertical speed so track heading mode so that will set our heading to 270 which is kind of what we want okay heading mode track no i wonder what is our heading right now our heading right now is 270 we should try to hold that now yes okay there we go it is corresponding it is corresponding very well Everybody, yes. Oh, is it corresponding? Not quite sure. 
please. There we go. Yeah, it is. I mean, at least it's kind of trying to work. All right, there we go. We are climbing. Everything's looking fine. We are very quick. We are already at two Mach. We're very fast. This is absolutely satisfactory. We don't mind any of this at all. There's also an aircraft carrier down here, by the way. This is uh, this is already great. So we are losing lots and lots of distance in a, in a few seconds here. This is absolutely going fine. We're already 60 nautical miles away from our destination, which is a huge part of you know of our whole flight. So. That is looking pretty damn good. Where's our heading track indicator? We don't have that. We do. All right, never mind. This is actually pretty damn good. Everybody, yes? Autopilot is flying this plane. Meanwhile, we can take a bit of a tour of the beautiful Concorde. All right, there you go. Absolutely beautiful. We are now at 40,000 feet. We want to climb uh, like a 10,000 more feet got the max climb mode on which will climb the plane at a perfect speed and altitude uh, uh i mean uh, attitude and stuff let's get the door open just check this out oh it, the fps in here do kind of suck we can check out this very cramped cockpit cabin here do we have a clock here of how fast we are oh uh, we do yeah that's really funny that's a very nice you know detail attention to detail everybody Forty-five thousand feet hello malone Malone Marvin or Melon? Melon Marvin? Not quite sure, but we're moving at twice the speed of sound. This, oh my god, the frames per second do suck up here. Oh, this is lots of fun for sure. So we are continuing down. I'm um, hoping it's gonna load uh, the scenery soon. You know, can't wait to fly to, to Australia and, you know. It's already again, it's going pretty well. Uh, after this, we can just turn the out hold mode on, which will just hold the altitude uh, at 50,000. Actually, we can just, you know, reduce our um, attitude here and just leave our climbing position. Here we go. Does it hold the altitude now? Yep, there you go. It's now slowly starting to dive the nose here towards. Right, don't matter. High while left as mid dim auto. Which one? Which car? I want to get a new one. But uh, it's not looking like that's going to happen anytime soon. All right. So let's check this out. This is great. This is very good. We're now at 2 Mach. We're flying. We're fast. Autopilot is very safe. Should we go a little bit? Should we maybe even, you know, induce or maybe just ascend a little bit more? Should we go a bit higher? How you doing, Joe B? Joe Billy Boom, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. How you doing, Joe Biden? Great. So, uh, let's maybe see now. Can we maybe, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually get a bit higher. Let's go to max climb mode once again. Here we go. Maximum cruise mode, which will now then cruise the plane. There you go. Is it climbing? It is climbing. All right. Get the max climb. I want to see how, how high we can get this plane. I want to see the stars. And now we are pretty high up. But it's looking pretty damn good. You know? I haven't done a flight with this kind of distance in any stream whatsoever at all before. So this is absolutely ridiculous. You know? This is this is great. Why have we got no sound? Have we lost engine power? We've lost engine power. We've lost engine. Why have we lost engine power? That's a bit strange. That's not supposed to happen. We're at full power. We're at full power? No, don't tell me we've run out of fuel. Please don't tell me. What's our fuel levels? Scheiße. We've run out of fuel. We've got no more afterburner. Why have we got no more afterburners? Have we run out of fuel? Or is it, have we run out of air? Oh, please don't tell me we've run out of fuel. That's a uh, very bad thing. Weight and balance? We've run out of fuel. We've seriously run out of fuel. I do lol, man. Epic nine nine nine. What's that even? No. All right. Um. Let me go and just get a bit more fuel in here. All right. So we can just get this going. I didn't expect this plane 
to run out of fuel this quickly then with this kind of fuel tank. I mean, check out the flight hours it gives us. Check out that. I mean, it gives us a uh, 12,000 12, hours to 20. That's 21 hours. Great. Um, that's. We I literally ran out of fuel, but that was the only way we could in any way take out, take off from Lord Howie Island. You know, that's the only way. Anyway, we are, you know, oh, we are actually losing altitude, which is probably because of this whole thing. Turn on the, turn off the max cruise mode. Let's turn on the max out mode. We've lost lots of speed here, but that's totally fine. You know, I like how smoothly this plane flies. Smoothly. You know, smooth. So that is, that is great. You know, this, it flies smooth. We are so fast, but you know. Oh, there you go. Did it, did it lose, uh, did it, did it lose? Oh, oh, Dominic! Hello, editor, how are you doing, editor? Dominic donated $25. Thanks for the burger in Paris. Great time. Thanks. Also answer our WhatsApp 20. Yes, all right, that was my editor. And so, yeah, we, uh, we went to, um, France. We went to Paris, how are you years. doing? We gate steer, was made in that kind of. Oh, that taco life good. I had a scooter over in taco. How you doing? From, what is that? NT dollars. New York Times dollars. Why cannot I go for max climb? Please. Why am I re reducing our, why are we reducing our altitude? Why is it doing that? I mean, we are gaining speed. Very barely. Why is it reduced power? Come on, we need to get a bit faster. Mr. Concord, we need to get a bit, you know, come on. Maybe induce or climb, maybe ascend a little bit. That's what I'm trying to say, please. Why are we at 45,000? We're not at 747. Uh, altitude acquire mode. Oh God, it's laggy. Why is it so laggy in the cockpit? That makes no sense at all. Is the CPU doing, shut up. Is the CPU doing something wrong? That's my question. All right, yeah, okay. We're looking at a bit of, uh, you know, trouble. CPU wise. Come on, we've got an aircraft carrier right down below us. I mean, we could have landed in case, you know, of a real, you know, failure. Andy Moll donated two We Swiss could have flights. landed on that. Speak Swiss German PLSS. My. So, here we go. Carrier is right below us, but we need to. Come on, can we get a bit higher? A higher, please. That's what I'm asking you. Stupid cock. Why are we so poor on the FPS in the cockpit as well only? I really don't get that. And why is it holding altitude even, even though I asked it to go max climb? I mean, it's kind of changed its weight now. So we're, so we are, in, you know, ascending a little bit. But we're only at Mach 1.8. We've lost a lot of Mach because of our, uh, of our fuel failure. Uh, altitude acquire. Well, we shall do that then. There we go. Now it's back at altitude acquire. So it will now acquire 45, 54,000 feet. Okay. So that's looking good. We, we should switch to outside view. I really don't know why the cockpit is so laggy compared to, to the inside. Uh, makes no sense. Uh, anyway, looking great here. We've got uh, good CPU values. So everybody, the uh, coast of Australia is... You know, coming closer and closer. It's a bit of a shame that I haven't set this up properly. You know what I mean? It's a bit of a shame. Um, this is not, you know, I can't really see how far we are away from the Australia uh, mainland. You know, we can't seem to do that. But it's looking fine anyway. By the way, I've, I've kind of upgraded my camera. Oh, my God. I didn't know the autopilot. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I didn't. I hope I didn't mess up the autopilot. Oh, I shouldn't touch that. Maybe I'm gonna screw this off. That's the cool thing about you know this uh, this whole this whole Holtus joystick. We can just screw off the head. Great. And so we can kind of it's now we controller. Great. But yeah, we've got a new camera that doesn't turn off every 30 minutes because that's kind of that kind of sucks. Buy a new PC because it's still a potato. Well, normally this this you know works pretty well, but I don't know why the the frames per second in the cockpit is really poorly. 
point of doing here we've got like uh can you see this we've got 14 frames per second in the cockpit which is a very much low amount it's not even you know using this anyway properly check this out uh where's my messiah i closed the afterburner software so we could see how utilized the cpu is which is like barely even you know it doesn't even like barely use the cpu probably because of thermal throttling it's like trying to like not get hot so it's like not even using it itself you know but at this point we're connected but a packet timed out that is the auto auth that's working in the background to download our scenery that's probably because um there's only ocean to download so we'll refuse to download ocean right because it can't it doesn't have satellite data of the ocean that would be stupid anyway things are looking absolutely fine we are you know the clouds are a bit funky though you know i've turned on the live clouds i mean the clouds look absolutely beautiful with the volumetric system but something that's a bit goofy is like what the live data that is downloading to recreate the clouds it's, i've set this to live weather so it's like downloading the weather from the australia so check this out um it's a bit funky here in the background but everybody things are looking absolutely fun anyway we are now we've stopped climbing we have reached kind of a max altitude point uh which is like fifty-three thousand feet which is totally fine we can ma maybe just turn on the um altitude hold mode now so it will perfectly hold our altitude here the autopilot um, we are now still continuing on and yes we've got and mainland australia right here it's coming up can you see that can you see mainland australia this is not taking long at all we've been even faster than people would have calculated i think um because we've not streamed for this long and we can already already in the background see land it's starting to come all along it's starting to work out everybody yes this is absolutely fine so maybe let's go ahead and also already work on the on the on the descent pro what is that did they try to recreate the moon seriously it's just literally a white piece of cheese. What is that? Honestly. All right, great. Anyway, why is the, cock like the cockpit is really properly bad? I won't be able to land here with that kind of cockpit. It doesn't show it up like that in the stream as well. It's like 12 FPS right now. That's what it's running at. You know, that is seriously not, that can't be good. I might want to tone down the graphics, which is a shame. I mean, we're at full, full graphics, right? I don't even know what to like reduce. Hmm, maybe that texture quality. But I hope that's not gonna like, crash the flight some because that's a big danger. Perhaps if we go a little bit, you know, if we descend a little bit towards the towards the uh, Australia, it's gonna get better, you know. So everybody, things are looking absolutely well. We have left Lord Howie Island behind us entirely, so it's looking pretty damn good. We've got the coast of Australia ahead of us right there we might want to already again descend a little bit so let's go ahead and glide okay autopilot glide no altitude acquire perhaps altitude per acquire so let's go ahead and set the altitude to like what is it like twenty thousand feet something like that so we can already acquire that altitude okay vertical speed set to that here which will it will hold the vertical speed how do I land? How do I get this plane to land itself? Well, I mean, okay, we can try auto landing, but it's like a whole different can of worms, right? Uh, climb. We cannot even. We can try to like get autopilot glide mode, or what? Something we can easily do is just get the autopilot hitch uh, pitch hold mode. Something I'm gonna do now is very carefully trim the plane down a little bit, the nose down. There we go. We can already see that the vertical speed indicator is, you know, going down. We are reducing our vertical speed. Yes! Check out the coast of Australia. Okay. We might want to lose a lot of that altitude, please. Let's go ahead and trim down a little bit more. We need proper trimming here. Something like that here. So we can nicely reduce our speed here. We now then get the pitch hold mode. All right, here we go. No, not yet. Here we go. We're reducing our speed. We're at minus 6,000 feet per minute. That's probably because of our insane speed. 
Okay, we have reached the coast of Australia a bit, you know, um, uh, earlier than what I thought. Can we, can we fly to Sydney, which is probably down south? Where's Sydney? Coffs Harbor. We don't really know where we are. Uh, the problem is I can't really see further than like a few hundred nautical miles. We might want to try to change our heading a little bit to like uh, by light and by like 90 degrees so we can nicely follow along the coast of Australia. Is anyone from Sydney here? All right, we are climbing once again. That's a bit bad. Come on then. Here we go. Let's reduce our altitude drastically. We might want to hand fly this at this point. Autopilot one, autopilot two. Flight director two, turn that off. Here we go, everybody. Yes, that is a proper Concorde flight. It's looking absolutely professionally. It's crazy how this plane flies. I don't know. I'm just so fascinated by this. Check out the beautiful ortho generator scenery here. We can see of Australia. We can see this absolutely beautifully. No, nothing to be downloaded here for ortho ortho. So it's absolutely looking well. All oh, the frames per second is not looking well at all. Anyway, we're now continuing down. I think we've got the big Sydney down here. Williamtown. No, that's not. No, that's not Sydney. That's Sydney. Williamtown. Williamtown. We might want to try to land here at Port Macquarie on our way because we haven't landed this plane at all in this stream. So we might want to reduce our altitude here and reduce our speed. How you doing? Uh, e from you Indonesia. You 35,000 Indonesian rupees. How you doing, man? All right. E. All right, need to go further south. That's what I'm working on, okay? We're now working to get further south. We don't have any like speed brakes on this thing. You know, that's like a big problem. But come on anyway, let's get going. Oh, we've got an airport down here. We've got a runway that we can already see. It's in sight. Are we able to touch down on that? Are we able to use that? Will we be able to use that if we put on the reverse thrust? Yes, this plane does seem to have in-flight reverse thrust, which is a bit crazy. Oh no, that's not worked. Oh God, that's kind of just... No, why doesn't it use reverse thrust? That's a bit sad. Here you go. Reverse are deployed. All right, that's never going to work. There's no way. There's no way this is going to work. We've got this airport right in front of us. Oh, it's just shot a weapon. Why is it doing that? I didn't mean to do that. I might have. What did I do here? And I, that is the button normally for reverse thrust. Aha, toggle thrust reverse. That's what I'm trying to do. What? I, why did I shoot all the... Mm, I hope I didn't like start a war on Australia. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Should we try to land down here on this runway? You know, a first landing here of the stream. Should we try to do that? If so, let's... Let's start again. I didn't mean to do that, whatever that was. Okay, here we go. Rush Trust is, I guess, put out. So what I'm doing, now doing is a kamikaze approach. I mean, this thing can handle lots of Gs. All right. Shut up with a joystick. All right, there you go. Runway's down here. Is the frames per second bad even if we go, yeah. If we're reducing our altitude, it's not going to get better. I don't know why the frames per second difference is so high. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. All right, here we go. We've got this runway down here that we now will attempt to land on. Let's get the nose visor down, please. And make it a beautiful landing. Should we try that? Get landing gear down. We're looking good on the speed. Let's get the nose visor down all the way. And that's everybody how you bring down a Concorde. I know we're running this at 15 frames per second, which is a bit strange. I really don't know why that should be now. I'm hoping it 
it's not gonna get better throughout the stream. I might wanna, after this netting, I might, I might wanna tone down the graphics by a bit so that this doesn't happen. But everybody, we're already looking pretty good on this approach, actually. It's quite ridiculous, honestly, if you ask me. This is absolutely perfect, everybody. It's time to get going. Performance is horrible. Performance is indeed horrible. I really don't know why that is in the cockpit, but in the, in the outside, it's so much better. All right. Here we go. A bit high. Oh my god, the reversers were out. Give it a bit of power. And we're a bit high again. Oh god. Oh, the frames per second is ruining everything for me. Like, it's hard to land this plane with this kind of frames. We've got a long runway ahead of us. Oh, please. For some reason, we don't have any sound of the... Oh, God. My rendering options are too high. That is so embarrassing. Honestly, that is very embarrassing. Why is my computer... Oh! Um, what's happening here? Help! That can't be good. No, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know what I just did. Let me check out this very, very poor landing if we're talking about, you know, doing things properly. And you know, that was a very floaty landing. Why did it do that now? I really don't get it now. I'm just kind of trying to reverse the landing here. That wasn't great. I'm trying to get used to how this plane feels once again to land. But I think, you know what, butterfly wise and you know, considering that this plane needs no runway to stop, seriously, I think it's gone pretty well. Yeah, I, I was a bit careful in trying to really get this plane down very smoothly. And I think that was one of the smoothest landings I've ever done on the Concorde. I mean, yes, it wasn't a good landing considering that we kind of touched down almost at the end of the runway. Um, so I know that was a super lag and we're now trying to, gonna have to get rid of that. That's a bit, it sucks to have a frames per second rate like that. That can't happen. We can't have 13 FPS. Shut up. We might want to try to tone down the rendering quality. So what do we have here? Maybe turn down the anti-aliasing because that's, I mean, that's going to make this whole thing look a bit bad, poor. But we're running this at pretty high resolution anyway, so I don't think that's going to matter that much. Maybe check out now. Oh, that's a whole lot better. That is, that's just fixed all of our problems, actually. That's funny. That is really funny how that's kind of just fixed all of your problems. There we go. You got one. Oh. There's something wrong with the stream! Really? Why would there? Hello, can you guys see me? Is, is everything working? Why? Hello, can you see me? Can you all see me? What is what what that wrong? Did you see the did you see the stream? Was it working? I mean I'm I'm not I, I just fixed the whole FPS problems we just had. Check this out. I wanna see I wanna I wanna I want you guys to watch this again. I don't know it didn't report any frames missing or anything. Um it might be my Mac computer that's actually streaming the whole thing. That's responsible for that. That's kinda that can suck. Is it like the like the stream is apparently lagging, which is a bit bad. But anyway, I wanted I want you guys to see this landing. Yes, I know I was coming in very badly. Is this working well? Uh oh, it's not working well. Skipping frames. Ah. Oh. Okay. So this is the deal. It's not my Windows computer that's running X Plane that's problem. It's actually my Mac computer that's having problems. I'm sorry. Is it? Is it? It's it's my Mac. It's my Mac. Is it is it working well now? I might have to induce my. Hold on, I'll be right back. I have to, you know, kind of um, level up my my bit rate that it's delivered to YouTube. I'm gonna be back in a second. Okay, I'm gonna be back. All right, here we go. Can you guys see me? Can everybody see me here? Is this working? All right, we're now at a, running at a bit of a higher bit rate. 
which is gonna work a whole lot better. Um, so this is the, I'm trying to still figure out, it's not really about the performance of my computers, it's really about the bitch rate that, uh, you know, we're streaming at. You know, because we are using, after all, 2K for the first time around. Um, so everybody, again, I hope you guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't catch the landings. All right, there we go. I think that kind of works now. There we go. Let's take this out. Yeah, a bit of a floater indeed. You know, this landing was a bit of a floater. Yes. Boom. Quicken! That was great. That was very good. Let's go ahead now and just close the replay mode and try to take off again. We've got proper frames per second now, even in the cockpit. I've now kind of, you know, did, did, done the graphics well. Ah! What's that happened for? That... I don't know what that was. Help! God damn it. All right, maybe let's try to respawn into some airport here. Maybe let's spawn into an approach here. Let's land at Tari Airport. That was a bit, that was hopeless. What, what just happened here? I think what happened was that some of the, we might've been shot down by something. I don't think I have AI planes incorporated though. Oh God. God damn it, we want to turn it later. Let me spawn into Sydney. Wasn't there, what are like interesting airports in in Australia where you could try to like fly at? Why did that work now? <laughs> that, it didn't work, obviously. Crash 001. <laughs> All right, please, reading new scenery files. Yeah, the loading times suck a little bit here with this new um, auto ortho thing. God damn it. All right, so, shh, shush. We are looking at a long runway. We're looking at a good airport. Where are we? Are we still in Australia? Yes, we are. We're still in Australia. Where are we? I mean, what is that city? Is this? Oh, oh, that's actually Sydney. Everybody, welcome to Sydney. Yes. All right, so that's looking pretty well. Welcome to Sydney's big airport, okay? Let's go to take off here. Got a bit of a broken run. Did you get this runway? <laughs> is that like that in real life? <laughs> okay. Is that not smooth? All right. So the engines are off, which is great because we're on a runway. I didn't expect the engines to be off on a damn runway. Come on now. Try again, please. There you go. Let's go full power now. Finally get this going. Take off. All right. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Full power. Yes! Vertical takeoff, everybody. And when I want to land now at Bankston Airport here, or Bankstown, right? You know, no Bankstown Airport, that one in the middle of the city. That's a bit strange. Here we go. Let's go ahead and continue down, down for that. I mean, the satellite scenery. Don't get me wrong; it looks great. It looks very good. I think this is a perfectly. I mean, this is kind of served as a bit of a test stream as well, because for the first time, we're able to stream, you know, X plane properly. Because it's got the whole world in auto scenery, in ortho scenery. Check out, you know, Sydney absolutely looks beautiful and actually is very usable. This can hold up to Microsoft. I mean, you know, if we were to use the vanilla scenery, it would absolutely suck. And now, you know, everyone would be depressed watching this stream, you know. Probably not as bad as I just described it, but you know what I mean. All right, let's take off. Uh, land now. Did we have some lags here? 
Was it lagging? Oh my god. I really would hate to go back to 1080p streaming, honestly. But if the internet that I have is just not able to cope with that, that would that kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Alright, so back center put is right there. This was a bit of a test stream, apparently it's not very good. Yeah. Alright. We might want to then um tone down back to 1080p. That's that might some be something that we have to do. Alright. Skipped frames detected. I really wouldn't know why I would skip the frames. I have to kind of Yeah, I can see the lag is from here. It's kinda of, I don't know why what actually does it, what does the lagging. But um like what well, part of it is I think it's the internet that's like not stable enough to do like 10, 10 megabytes per second, like 10,000 kilobits of bit rate. That sucks a bit. That's a strange. That's a bad. That's a uh, that, that's a strange. What the hell? That's a that's a pity. That's a shame. Let's take uh, that now. Okay. And beautifully. Landing gears down. Last one down. Why is there no touchdown sound? What is that now? Yes. Yes. Everybody, there we go. We have touched down very well. I think that's, I mean, that wasn't great. I, 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 you can't really tell when you exactly touch down because there's no sound. I think it was a pretty all right landing. This is a very narrow runway. That's like the strange thing about it. And the frames per second is horrible. I'm so sorry. Why? I don't know why that is. It's my computer. Like my, like it's like running absolutely smoothly here, but it's not really getting it across properly through the internet. We want to turn off the, I want to turn on the performance mode. Perhaps that will work a little bit better. How's that now for you? Is that better? Probably not. It's not better. It's my internet that's having issues. God damn it. Why cannot I just properly stream? Great. Anyway, this is gone. This is gone pretty well, I would say. It's my internet that's having issues. I really don't get why. Great. So everybody, thank you guys so much. Shut up with your stupid lag. Yeah, okay. Maybe I, I should... Shh. Maybe I like a stand. Still standing. It's still standing picture here. That will work a lot better. It's better now? It's probably going to improve any second. There we go. Just like that, you can see the bitrate issues. If we're starting to move, and then we have an issue. Like, you know, this is working fine, but when we're just, when we're starting to move, when the pictures are actually starting to change, that's like where it starts to struggle. You know, that's like, like that, that's like a problem. Like I can't really do that you know, internet wise. But everybody, that was a great experiment anyway, just to find out that everything of this sucks. Thanks to, to like two people that watched this, and I'll see you guys in the next stream in 1080p perhaps. As always, thank you 